886 Cannery Road, Monterey, on the second level of the Outer Bay exhibit in the Monterey Bay Aquarium. The room is totally dark. The large rectangular electric blue window lights the way. The transparent sheet of acrylic that we're looking through is two inches thick. It is set into a window five feet wide and three feet high. Although you couldn't dip much more than your forearm into it, the tank looks infinite, like the landscapes behind the windows of the dioramas at the American Museum of Natural History in New York. The blue background is created by an opaque sheet of colored acrylic. A medium tube placed behind it cast light in a fairly even way. The strong color contrast between blue and yellow was created by two spotlights placed off screen on opposite sides of the tank. True. Some tanks are round, but this one is elliptical. It was based on a German design developed in the 1960s. Its name, Chrysler, comes from the spinning cups that kids use to play, which refers here to the circulation of water inside the tank. Every night, seawater from the bay is pumped into the tank, supplying the animals with plankton and other copepods. Two currents swirl from the bottom to top, opposite one another, leaving a neutral space in the middle where the drifter is held in a stationary position. Remember the flying toasters? 1940-style foam toasters sporting bird-like wings, flying across the darkness with pieces of brown toast? I can see that grin on your face. A mouth that looks like a roots 